Hey everyone, Darren Benton again with Performance Motor Coaches. Wanted to do a video, kind of a blast from the past. This is our very first Verona LE that we sold. We sold this unit to a local couple and they just unfortunately didn't get to use it as much as they had hoped for. So here it is. I think it's about 35, 3,800 miles. We'll go over the miles once we jump inside. Uh, it is the Verona LE. It is a 40 LTS, which is a single bath, but it does have the posing seating with the televator. Uh, that and the bath and the half, the LRB, are kind of neck and neck as far as popularity. The chassis is a 350 horse Cummins ISL, so it's 8.9 liters, mated to a 3000 series Allison six speed automatic transmission. It is the M2106. Not much has changed in the way of the, of the uh, M2106, other than they did a light little facelift on the 2024. So, We'll come down the unit. I don't believe this one has lithium. It does have just a single 4,000 watt Magnum. Of course, the Aqua Hot is standard. Central back on board. The unit is a little bit dusty from its being stored in, in its storage barn. Uh, it's been stored indoors since new. It's exceptional condition, probably as close to new as you could possibly find on one. We will have additional pictures on our website at performancemotorcoaches.com. Three quarter pass through right here. Does have a little storage ottoman. We put that back in here. Central vac will be right back here on the right rear compartment. Like I said, this just came to us, so we've not done anything to it. It'll get rinsed up. It'll get a fresh service on it, uh, and it will be available essentially at any point in time. So a 20,000 pound hitch on the back, so all the M2106s will have a 20,000 pound hitch. We do have the adapter to be able to flat tow, get you down to a two inch receiver. If your transfer switch right there, the nice thing about that transfer switch is it does let you know your amp draw and your voltage on each individual leg. You have an automatic cord reel and there is a 20 amp plug inside that compartment. Generator has 30 hours. Uh, so we will just service it just simply because it's 30.1. We'll go through, we'll inspect everything. Of course, everything will be cleaned up. Uh, probably as good as a new one. I think we've they brought this unit in twice for just various service, uh, minor little details. So we're pretty familiar with the coach. Nice clean wet bay. It does have the water hose uh, reel back in there. There is a hydronic register within that. It does not have a macerator, but it would be relatively easy to add the macerator. So black and gray, 75 gallons a piece there. Storage there. Power invert, that is the Magnum, 3000 watt. Just has the 30 amp Jaboni solar controller and then just two of the 8D AGM batteries. Those are original. I think they'll be fine, but we will test them. If anybody wanted to take an upgrade to uh, lithium batteries, very easy for us to get done. It does have the side and turn signals, and then of course the rear cam, and there's a trailer cam plug on the back of it as well. Will not have the bunk over. They didn't start the bunk over until 2023. Solid surface entry, which is kind of standard all the way across the product line now. Tile floors, however, they are not heated. The LTS has three seating groups. So essentially you've got a small little couch right there. That's a jackknife couch. You have the convertible dinette, and then you do have your three to seats right here. I don't believe these, no, these are just manual theater seats. They are Lambright. They're a decent, uh, probably not as good as the brand new Lambright theater seats you'd see in the brand new ones. All dual pane glass. They're all, in, it's all in perfect condition there. Very easy entry in and out of the cab. Does have the Garmin with the cameras built in. Has the lane departure and the crash mitigation. They will all have recessed induction cooktops. 
and then they did a solid surface sink back then uh, the newer ones running stainless uh, that's that's probably the dirtiest part of it we'll we'll get that cleaned up with a little bit of ajax and it'll look brand new there's not a single scratch a lot of these uh, countertops come to us with a lot of scratches it's a relatively soft solid surface they use a lg solid surface which is a little bit softer but i mean this thing is immaculate on the inside no smells no pets uh, nothing at all uh, you know we came in the floor is probably as clean today as when, whenever it left our facility big pantry of course they've gone to individual drawers it's probably a little bit better design on the later models big samsung residential refrigerator washer dryer these hinges do go almost at 180 degrees so stacked washer dryer this is italian nutmeg which is actually not no longer available but a pretty classic color for the wood stain nice little setup here uh, decent room basically kind of a mid bath here and then the toilet nice it has the old style tecma toilets instead of the new santa marines which i'm not a big fan of fiberglass shower nothing too fancy there but you know all the doors um, they're all solid and then you do have a fair amount of trim around here i don't know if you can kind of catch this uh, this is pretty unique for that you know for at the time basically these were spaced out and you have every have everything backlit so i would I always said that the LE trim was a lot nicer trim than even the classic, um, you know, for that, for basically that air and even today. So just a little bit more ornate design there. Decent sized closet here. And this is something that a lot of people have mentioned that they've not liked it eliminating. So essentially, let's see if this will actually do this. So this will come out and Well, it is designed to come out to be able to put a laundry hamper right there. We need to adjust that slightly. I guess they never pulled that out, but it would be relatively easy for us to notch that. So if you want to put a big hamper down there, just open that up and leave that open. All the drawers are all dovetail. They're all soft closed as well. Entertainment right here. Uh, it does have the in-motion satellite. They never activated, uh, never added any receivers to it, but relatively easy for us to add. But definitely a lot of storage. Central vac located, it's actually located in the right rear, but there is a port underneath here. And you do have two 75-gallon water tanks below. All pocket doors to be able to isolate each individual space here. And I think this was probably the only... This is the only LE we have actually driven back. So my good camera cohort, uh, I don't know if you remember, we drove this back and stayed in it a night or two, but uh, glad to see it back. Uh, sad for the customers, they didn't get to get out and use as much as they want to. Let me check the miles again. <laughs> that was 3,500, 3,800. 34, what was that? 34.59. Not even 3,500 miles, so probably as close to new as you will find one. I believe we're going to price this unit right about 290. Uh, it is a consignment. Uh, we'd be, be happy to consider any offers from people. We do take trades as well. Make sure you guys come out and see us, performancemotorcoaches.com. We are located in Wolford, Texas, and as you can see, we're loaded up. We have a lot of service work here. Uh, this is kind of it's been kind of crazy how the business has kind of morphed around the Renegade service and sales. I mean, there's there's as many Renegades here as that you probably see uh, on sometimes you know their ship you know their ship lot. So uh, pretty cool to have so much here, so much going on. Uh, the business is definitely alive and well. Uh, enjoy it. Uh, appreciate you guys always coming out checking out our video. Make sure you guys come back and see us. Thanks.